Hello viewers, in this video, I will try to discuss one question paper related to recent UGC net slat exam and I will also try to impart immediate answer to the respective question. Okay, so without any delay, let's begin our dis discussion and one more thing, this discussion will be also helpful for CUE at PG exam apart from CUE at UG English or uh, PhD in English entrance exam or uh, NET English, SLAT English or SAT exam. The first question that we have got is uh, the Dr. Faustus wanted Mephistopheles to appear in the guise of what? Uh, a B C D. A handsome young man. B Helen. C a Franc Franciscan friar. D the Roman Pope. What will be the correct option? You must have studied Dr. Foster's play in your respective syllabus in undergraduate courses or in your postgraduate courses. So the correct answer for the question will be that Dr. Foster's wanted Mephistopheles to appear in the guise of number C. A Franciscan friar. I have tried to gather the answer key of this question paper from the uh, concern exam uh, holding authority. Number two, Henry Vaughan's poem, The Retreat. It expresses a desire to do what? A, B, C, D. Return to the days of infancy. B, return to the uh, primordial age of creation c return to the golden age of pastoralism d return to the middle ages number two what will be the correct answer the correct answer for the set question will be number a uh, b uh, a, a sorry henry vaughan's poem the retreat it expresses a desire to return to, to the days of infancy Number three says, who considered the existence of a built-in language acquisition device in sort called LAD in human beings? A, B, C, D, Noam Chomsky, Edward Sapir, Block and Treasure, Roman Jacobson. I'm sorry for the pronunciation since English is my fifth language. Therefore, you may feel that my pronunciation is not up to the mark. Number three uh, number A will be correct, that is Noam Chomsky, you must have heard his name. Noam Chomsky is one of the prominent uh, linguistic uh, from US, USA. Number 4 says, the architect who constructed Pandemonium in Book 1 of Paradise Lost is who? Belial, Mammon, Moloch, uh, Mulsiber. The architect who constructed Pandemonium in Book 1 of Paradise Lost is Belial, Mammon, Molas, Mulsiber. So it will be number D, that is Mulsiber. Mulsiber was the character who did that job. Number 5 says bring the odd one out. So here we have to find the similarities and uh, remove or reject the odd one or the strange one. A, B, C, D, 4, P, S, the play of the weather. Fulgence and Lucres and D Magnificence number five number D will be correct uh, Magnificence Apart from this D ABC these all are similar Then next now number six says these hills called home stories from a war zone This is a book. So the uh, the hills are those of what? Kashmir Hills, Tibet Hills, Northeast India, Jharkhand. You must be familiar with this book. So correct answer will be Northeast India. So this book is written by Temsula Ao. She has passed away re recently in 2022, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and her book, This Hill Hills Called Home, Stories from a War Zone, it is one of the... Uh, notable works written by her and her works uh, have always tried to portray 
the uh, present circumstances of Nagaland or the Northeast, how Naga people have been suppressed and how Naga, pe Naga people are affluent in their oral culture, their, their tradition and uh, their lifestyle, culture like that. Now, uh, number uh, eight is seven is saying, in which of the following methods do we move from specific situations slash rules to general situations? A, B, C, D, inductive method, deductive method, discussion method, drill method. I will repeat, in which of the following methods do we move from specific situations slash rules to general situations? Uh, inductive method, deductive method, discussion method, drill method. Number seven, number A will be correct. That is inductive method. If you don't know about the rest, for example, deductive method, discussion method, drill method, then you have to know about it. Uh, just do a Google search and try to accumulate the information that you get. Moving on to number eight. Number eight says, in which of the following play or plays does Shakespeare employ the use of a mask as you like it? A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Tempest, both B and C. Let me repeat it. In which of the following play slash plays does Shakespeare employ the use of mask as you like it? A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Tempest, both B and C. Number 8, number D will be correct. Both B, B and C. B is A Midsummer Night's, Midsummer Night's Dream and C, Tempest. Tempest was the last play written by William Shakespeare, if I'm not wrong and uh, as you like it is a romantic comedy uh, play if i'm not wrong and in this play we get that famous quotation or dialogue or saying uh, the world is a stage okay moving on to number nine it says horace horace lived during the time of emperor who abcd lepidus Theocritus, Augustus, Maximilian I. Number 9, number C will be correct. It will be Augustus. He lived in the reign of Augustus, King Augustus or Emperor Augustus. Number 10 says, in Longinus, idea of the sublime. Mimesis means what? In Longinus, in Longinus's idea of the sublime, Mimesis means what? Um, in, Imitation of real action, imitation of classical poets of excellence, imitations of heroic characters, imitation of grandiloquent diction. What do you think? Uh, it will be number B, that is imitation of classical poets of excellence. Longinus, one of the notable, noteworthy, remarkable figure related to classical literature. You have to know about him. And you should know. 11 number says, which of the following is not a characteristic or feature of mystery plays? Mystery plays you must have heard. So number A says, they deal with biblical themes related to Bible. B, they depicted the lives of saints. C, the characters in, in the plays personified abstract ideas. D, they were mostly performed in vernacular language, which will be correct. So here, uh, please focus on the question the question is saying following is not a characteristics uh, wh whenever we are in hurry in exam hall or sometimes we also get nervous at that time we um, do not see the question properly at that time we often miss the word not and in that way uh, error is inevitable so try to avoid that you have to become completely calm, composed, and you must have patience while dealing with que questions or while uh, reading the question on the screen board of the uh, computer. Now it is uh, in true computer we have to uh, solve our question papers. Number 11's correct answer will be the characters in the plays personified abstract ideas so this is not a characteristic of mystery plays 
here i would like to add one thing uh, you have to also know about uh, the various genres of plays from classical to modern in that way if uh, any kind of question re related to the genre plays come then you will be able to solve that now 12 says uh, who orders the execution of junior mortimer in marlowe's christopher marlowe another significant figure from uh, english literature marlowe's play edward ii edward ii himself or gaveston isabella edward iii so it will be uh, who orders the execution of junior mortimer in marlowe's play edward ii it will be Ed edward iii that that is number d moving on to number 13 it says which of the following is not true about the spanish tragedy spanish tragedy is uh, one one of the most popular as well as significant works therefore if you don't know about it it is your duty to know uh, please try to read about it okay so which of the following is not true about the spanish tragedy a uh, Balthazar killed a Spanish officer Don Andrea. B. Balthazar falls in love with Belle Imperia. C. Balthazar was avenged by uh, Hieronimo at the end of the play. Hieronimo fell in love with Belle Imperia. So number 13, number D will be correct. Hieronimo fell in love with Belle Imperia. 14 says, one of the sources of Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale is what? Endymion, The Old Wife's Tale, Pandosto, Rosalind, Rosalind. So what will be correct? One of the sources of Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale is number C, Pandosto. Number 15 says, uh, Porphyrius Lover. It was published in Dramatic Lyrics paired with another poem under the title Madhouse Cells. So the other poem is what? Two in the Campagna, Women and Roses, Caliban upon Saribos, Johannes Agricola in Meditation. These are the options for you. Number 15, uh, number D will be correct, Johannes Agricola in Meditation. 16 says, postmodernism which emerged in 1990s signals a return to what? The European Enlightenment, A, B, the culture of effect of the age of sensibility, C, the archetypal paradigms of Northrop Fry, D, the modernist avant-garde. Number 16, number B will be correct, the culture of effect of the age of sensibility. 17 says, the genre Newgate fiction derives its name from what? Newgate calendar, which was the source of most of the stories of such fiction, being Newgate Street from where such fictions were usually published. Number C, Newgate, an imaginary character who popularized these fictions. D, then those works which were invariably published by Newgate publishers. Number 17, Number 17, it will be Newgate Calendar, which was the source of most of the stories of such fic fiction. It will be the correct answer. So, the genre New Newgate Fiction, it derived from this name, Newgate Calendar. 18 says, which of the following plays is not by Manjula Padmavan, Princess Harvest Lights Out, Hidden Fires. Number 18, number A will be correct, Princess. So this is a play which is not composed by Manjula Pad Padmanavan. Moving on to number 19, it says, Who among the following is not a structural narratologist? Structural narratologist. Uh, number A says, Louis Althusser, B. Roland Bart C. A. J. Grimes D. Uh, Jefton Todorov. Number 19, it will be number A. Louis Althusser. You must have heard his name. If you haven't, then you have not studied about him. 
which uh, you have to do sooner. Number 20 says the shock of arrival. It contains reflection on post-colonial experience of what? Mina Alexander, Niratsi Chaudhary, Ritika, Vezrani, Basabi Fraser. Uh, you must have heard the name Niratsi Chaudhary. He, he, uh, his work, if I'm not wrong, he uh, wrote a book called uh, a, a Bio uh, an autobiography of unknown Indian okay so 20 number a will be correct that is the shock of arri arrival it contains re reflection on postcolonial experience of Mina Alexander 21 says my India it is a series of autobiographical anecdotes short stories kind of short stories by whom Mahatma Gandhi Jim Corbett R. K. Narayan, B. S. My Paul, twenty one number B will be correct. Jim Corbett. Jim Corbett, you must have heard his name. Uh, he was actually uh, a product of Eng England, but later uh, he also became a protector of wildlife. Means from the po from the poacher to protector, if I'm not wrong. And you must have heard one. Uh, sanctuary or national park after his name jim corbett national park in uh, uttarakhand if i'm not wrong so you have to know about uh, the rest people you must have heard mahatma gandhi so it's common but you must know about rk narayan what kind of works he has done uh, as well as bs naipaul he is also a, a prominent figure remarkable figure he, he has written many works on the basis of Indian culture, mythology, and so on. 22 says, the sub subtitle, The Letter Killet of Hardis, Jude the Obscure is taken from what? The Old Testament, Sophocles, Oedipus Rex, Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, and the New Testament. The subtitle, The Letter Killet of Hardis, Jude the obscure is taken from what? Which of the following 22? It will be number D, the New Testament. If uh, if you do not know about New Testament, you must know New Testament is a part of Bible. Okay, It is related to Christianity. 23 says, who coined the term cyber coolie to denote call center workers in India claiming that they are as exploited by western multinationals as plant plantation workers from Bihar were exploited in the West Indies by their colonial masters. Ramchandra Guha, B.S. Naipal, Haris Trivedi, Arundhati Roy. 23rd, it will be number C, Haris Trivedi. 24 says, given below are two statements, one mark assertion A and the other reason R. Study the statements and choose the correct option. Assertion S is the postmodern concept of hyper-reality gestures towards a transcendent reality. Reason is saying that this is because postmodernism is deeply imbued with a desire for trans transcendence. After reading it, now you, you have to analyze which will be correct and which will not be correct. A option is saying both assertion and reason are correct. B is saying both assertion and reason are incorrect. C is saying assertion is correct but reason is incorrect. D is saying assertion is incorrect but reason is correct. Which will be correct now? So 24 correct option for the said question will be number B. Both assertion and reason both are incorrect. Both are wrong. 25th it is saying bring out the correct matches match between the authors in list one and the works in list two in list one it says of mimic uh, of mimicry and man b says the climate of history in a planetary age c is saying the other side of silence c is saying ecology and the politics of survival similarly in list two deepesh Chok chakraborty urvasi butalia homi ke vava vandana siva now you have to match list one list one with list two or vice versa these are the options for you. I will not go to the options. Let me give you the correct answer 
straight away 25 number correct answer will be number b that is a will be related to 3 a will be related to 3 that means of mimicry and man it will be related to homike bhava another significant man prominent man then b1 the climate of history in plan Planner is it will be related to Deepesh Chakraborty. C2 that means uh, the other side of silence it will be re related to Urvasi Butalia. Then D4 ecology and polit politics of survival it is written or it is related to Bandana Shiva. 26 says which of the following is not a play by uh, Aeschylus? Also, another figure from cl classical is. Agamemnon, the liberation bearers, the humanists, Antigone, Antigone, 26, number D will be correct, Antigone, this is not written by Aeschylus, 27 says, in which text on popular culture does Michael Thompson state that idea and objects should reach zero value and zero expected lifespan but in reality it continues to live in a timeless and valueless limbo. So what will be correct? Rubbish theory, material cultures, the transmission of effect, reassembling the social. Which one will be correct? 27 number A will be correct. Rubbish theory. Rubbish theory. Got it? Moving on to number 28, it says match the terms in list 1 with the theoretical movements to which they belong in list 2. So we have to just match it. In list 1, we have got effective fallacy in uh, list 1a, then b, aporia, then c, comprador, then d, focalization. Just like that in uh, list 2, post-colonialism, narratology, new criticism, post structuralism If you don't know about this concept, then you must know, do it immediately. Then these are the options for you so 28 number a will be correct that means effective fallacies related to three new criticism and then b4 aporia is related to post structuralism then c1 comprador is related to uh, post colonialism and the uh, focalization it is related to narratology hope you have understood or comprehended Mo moving on to next question it says 29 says match the match these American authors in list one with the schools of multicultural American literatures to which they belong in list two. In list one we have got Sandra, uh, Cisnors, Gish Jane, Sermon, Alexi, Chang Reilly. In list two we've got Korean American literature, Native American literature, Chinese American literature, uh, and Chicano and literature. So what will be correct? 20. 9 number a will be correct that that means uh, sandra cisners it is related to four chicano a literature i might have pronounced wrong but sorry for that i don't know how to pronounce it and the b3 gish jen uh, it is related to three chinese american literature and then c2 sermon alex is related to native american lit literature you must have uh, read his uh, read the famous poem written by sermon alexi the crow testament right then uh, d1 chang rally he is related to korean american literature chang rally 30 says in a defense of poetry sally pv sally master bhadi's name you must have studied his poems in a defense of poetry sally contrast reason and imagination he says that Imagination is creative. How does you describe re reason? A. Constructive. B. Contemplative. C. Persuasive. D. Productive. Number 30, it will be contemplative. He described the reason as contemplative, not con constructive, nor par persuasive, neither productive. Similarly, likewise, we have got 31. It says here are the names of some women poets like uh, Felicia Hammonds. Anna, Leticia Barbold, Anna Seward, Charlotte Smith. Now, to which period of English literature do they belong? A says the Elizabethan period, B says the Restoration period, C says the Romantic period, D says the Victorian pe period. 
all periods are important you have to do deep study as well as research on the said periods now what will be correct 31 it will be number c that means the romantic period likewise we have got 32 it says which of these british philosophers is most directly connected with the age of sensibility john locke david hume bishop george berkeley the earl of Shaftesbury. which of these british philosophers is most directly connected with the age of sensibility 32 number d will be correct the earl of Shaftesbury. moving on to number number 33 it says an advertising jingle goes the roaming wala job the deadline wala job or are you in living in the market wala job words like market wala are uh, examples of what these are instances of what code mixing code switching code breaking code making what will be correct 33 it will be number a that is called code mixing so this is a part of linguistic and this uh, this is also a part of fundamental linguistic which you must know despite not studying linguistic third, third, uh, 33 a code mixing will be correct moving on to 34 from here we have to read a little bit here it says here is a statement followed by two assumptions read them carefully and choose the correct option statement says in a position paper dated 2001 on the teaching of English in higher education, UGC stated both the English honors course and the general level should include word English instead of being confined to British lit literature. Assumption A is saying UGC wishes to inculcate a global perspective in students through the study of world literatures. Two is saying UGC feels that the British literature is not good enough. Now what will be correct? A is saying A is one is correct but two is not correct or incorrect. B is saying one is incorrect but two is correct. C is saying both one and two are incorrect. C is saying both one and two are correct. What will be the correct option according to you? 34 correct answer will be number uh, A. That is one is correct but two is not correct. 35 says the formula for calculating impact factor impact factor is related to research and it is related to uh, journal journals number a saying dividing the number of citation in the journal in the two previous years by the total number of articles published in the same journal in two previous years a saying b saying multiplying the number of citations in the journal in the two pre previous years by total number of articles published in the same journal in two previous years now c is saying dividing the number of citations in the journal in the previous year by the total number of articles published in the same journal in previous years now d is saying multiplying the number of citations in the previous year by the total number of articles published in the previous year which one will be correct these are the options for you 35 number a will be correct it says dividing the number of citations in the journal in the two previous years by the total number of articles published in the same journal in two pre previous years so this is the formula for calculating impact factor you must have heard impact factor 4.6 10.2 11.2 like that so it go, goes on now 36 is saying which of the following is not a plagiarism software plagiarism you must have heard uh, if you copy from some other sources without giving proper citation or credit or acknowledgement then that uh, work or that thing will be called plagiarism and there is a software to check it but nowadays um, more new innovative softwares are added by the UGC uh, apart from this you should also check out about that too so these are the options for you now urkun this is one of the oldest and one of the popular and reliable software related to plagiarism uh, then tantin then uh, ethanticate then ramini R recently i have heard uh, one more plagiarism software called drillbit that was also approved by the ugc uh, now which one will be correct 36 number d will be correct ramini ramini is not that plagiarism software apart from urkun tarnitin then ethan ticket 
Moving on to 37, it says the author who claimed to have blended two kinds of romance, the ancient and the modern, is called what? Horace Walpole, Clara Reeve, and Radcliffe, Edgar Allan Poe. So these are the options for you. Let me repeat the question again. The author who claimed to have blended, means to mix, you all know, two kinds of romance, the ancient and the modern, is who? Horace Walpole, Clara Reeve, and Radcliffe, then Edgar Allan Poe. 37 number A will be correct. Horace Walpole. 38 is saying it says that uh, the drabble it, it's a word so this word is a name for what mini saga micro fiction sudden fiction flash fiction what will be correct 38 so according to the uh, answer key which I have procured from the concern uh, authority so the correct answer will be both B and D. That means micro fiction and flash fiction. Micro fiction and flash fiction. B and D both will be correct. So if this kind of question comes, then you are going to have to worry. If uh, four options are there and um, the options are not correct, then you will get the mark. All will get the mark. 39 is saying the murders in the Rue Morgue was written by whom? Arthur Conan Doyle, Edgar Allan Poe, Guy de Mupasa, Aga, Agatha Christie. So these all are uh, known for their works in crime thrillers. What will be the correct answer? 39. It will be number B. Edgar Allan Poe. 40 is saying in an apology for poetry, Sidney claims that Poetry is a speaking picture. Which ancient authority is he invoking here? Let me repeat it. In a work called an Apology for Poetry, Sydney. Philip Sydney claims that poetry is a speaking picture. Which ancient authority is he invoking here? Plato, Aristotle, Horace, Longinus. Number four, number C will be correct. Horace. Horace satire, you must have studied. Moving on to 41, it says the book called The Prison House of Language, a critical account of structuralism and Russian formalism, is written by whom? Terence Hawkes, Jonathan Kuhler, Vladimir Prop, then Frederick Jameson. What will be correct? 41, number D will be correct, that is Frederick Jameson. 42 says, when was the Globe Theatre first constructed? When was the Globe Theatre first constructed? constructed so uh, this uh, term globe theater it is related to english literature and it has contributed immensely in the upliftment and uh, in the enrichment of english drama so 42 number c will be correct 1599 43 says level to plagiarism is what similarity up to 10 percent similarity up to 10 to 40 percent similarity from 40 to 60 percent similarity above 60 percent what will be correct level to plagiarism is what 43 number c will be correct similarity from 40 to 60 percent 44 says which English poet reported on the partition of India as a BBC correspondent? W. H. Auden, Louis Magnus, Stephen Spender, Philip Larkin. 44, number B will be correct. Louis Magnus. He was the English poet who had also worked in BBC and he worked as a BBC correspondent during the partition of India. 45 says, which Australian novel of Patrick White is based on the life of the 19th century Prussian explorer and naturalist Ludwig Leitzhardt? Sorry for the pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce it. So these are the options for you. A Fringe of Lips, Boss, The Eye of the Storm, The Tree of Life for 45. 45, number B will be correct. Boss, B or double S. 46 is done. 46 is, uh, sorry, 45 is done. Now 46 is saying, which tale in Chaucer's the Canterbury Tales is in prose? So here I would like to mention one thing. Uh, if you talk about English literature, the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, it is considered, it is regarded as one of the most significant works written in English lit literature. 
therefore you have to know all the stories all the details all the in information related to the canterbury tales now let's come back to our question it says which tale in chaucer's the canterbury tales is in prose the monk's tale the parson's tale the wife of bath's tale the nun's priest's tale for a six number b will be correct the parson's tale 47 says the translation of om prakash balmiki is jutan is done by whom bigram kedas lakshmi Holmstrom, Arun P. Mukherjee, Gail Ombat. 47, number C will be correct. Arun P. Mukherjee. Arun P. Mukherjee. 48 says, Who divided modern writers into two camps called the Edwardians and the Georgians? Virginia Woolf, T.S. Eliot, Thomas Stern Eliot, F.R. Lewis, uh, then George Orwell. 48, number A will be correct correct that is Virginia Woolf another feminist writer or figure from uh, English literature you have to know about her works her contribution her impact her legacy 49 says who among the following called the novel the bright book of life James Joyce Aldous Huxley Virginia Woolf D.S. Lawrence these all uh, names are giant names you have to know uh, what they have done how they have contributed in English literature and what impact they have and what legacy they um, left. 49. Uh, it will be number D. Okay. Who among the following called the novel The Bright Book of Life? That is D.S. Lawrence. 50 says The House Made of Dawn. It's a novel by the Native American writer. By whom? James Wells, Leslie Mormon Silco, and Scott Mamade, Louis. Erdrich. Here uh, you have to also know about Native American literature which is originated from Engl uh, USA, America. So you have to know how it was originated, what kind of works they have done and how it has influenced in rich English literature and what significance it holds. 50. <coughs> Number C will be correct. That is Anne Scott Mamade. 51 says it's a very re recent question if uh, issue Gitanjali series novel Tomb of Sen Tomb of Sen has received the International Booker Prize 2022 2022 it is an English translation of a Hindi novel by Sri the translator is whom George Clooney Tahmina Anam Bikram Chandra Deji Rockwell 51 which will be correct so the, uh, this is a question related to recent awards, recent activities related to English literature. 51, number D will be correct, Daisy Rockwell. 52, 52 says, which South African novelist dealt with the Eliza Fraser story from a post-colonial perspective? Andrew Brink, J.M. Koji, also famous name, his famous works is uh, disgrace and he is known for his works based uh, on based in uh, South African society then Alan Patton Damon Galgut 52 number A will be correct Andrew Brink 52 then 53 says which literary theorist is not associated with post structuralism Julia Kristeva Jacques Lacan Paul de Mon, Ferdinand de Saussure all are revolutionary men all are uh, prominent names you have to know about them what works they have done and what kind of theory they have propagated 53 number D will be correct Ferdinand de Saussure 54 says who among the following is the creator of the fic uh, fictional character called Neil Ratan Jamindar of Rakshali Manju Kapoor Jhumpa Lahiri Amitabh Ghos Arvind Adiga 54 number C will be correct Amitabh Ghosh, known for his notable works like The Shadow Lines, right? You must have studied based on uh, Partition of India. Then 55 says, Who wrote the following? The line says, There are in our existence spots of time which will di distinct preeminence retain a renovating virtue. These are the options for yourself Sir Philip Sidney, John Donne, Alexander Pope, William Wordsworth. 55, number D will be correct. William Wordsworth has composed this line called 
there are in our existence spots of time which will distinct pre-eminence retain a renovating virtue. William Wordsworth, pioneering figure in uh, English romantic period. William Wordsworth and S. T. Coleridge, they uh, had jointly published lyrical ballads and which was called as the uh, beginning of romantic era in English literature. 56 says, who is the first New Lander to win the uh, prestigious Booker Prize? New New Zealander, sorry. Janet Frame, Carrie Home, Maurice G, Dorothy and 56, which will be correct. Number uh, 56, number B will be correct. Carrie Home, Halm. 57 says, in the Canterbury Tales, who narrated the tale of Mali Be Malibius during the pilgrimage, the Franklin, the Reeve, the Plowman, Geoffrey Chaucer, 57, number D will be correct, Geoffrey Chaucer, he is called as the father of English literature and therefore his all works are important for us. 58 says, who wrote the books Tuckerless Poetics, Henry James, Jonathan Cooler, Jax Derrida, Roman Jacobson, all names are important for you. You have to know what kind of works they have done and what impact they left. 58, 58, number, number B will be correct. Jonathan Color is the uh, writer of the book called Structuralist Poetics. Now 59, it says Dr. Samuel Johnson's editions of Shakespeare appeared in which year? 1752, 1760, 1765, 1791. Dr. Samuel Johnson is another prominent figure in English literature. We have to know and study about his work and his life too. 59, number C will be correct. That is 1765. 60 says, which of the following is not an author level matrix? H index, G index, Google Scholar, uh, as in factor. So 60, it will be number C, that is Google Scholar. Number 61 says, T.S. Eliot, must have heard, T.S. Eliot wrote two essays on Milton. The first Milton one was published in 1936. When was the second Milton two was published? Um, uh, sorry, when was the second Mil Milton two was first published? The question is quite uh, complicated. So these are the options for you. 945, 50, 60, 63. 61, correct answer will be number C, that is in 1960. 62 says, which Shakespearean character puts this question? Who is it that can tell me who I am? Let me repeat it. Which Shakespearean character puts this question? Who is it that can tell me who I am? Question mark. Lady Macbeth, Caliban, King Lear, Hamlet. 62. You cannot avoid Shakespearean English literature. That Therefore, you must know about each work he has written, each work he has done. Okay. 62. Number C will be correct. King Lear. Who is the... Who, who is that can tell me who I am? Uttered by William Shakespeare's character King Lear, also famous work, Tragedy. 63 says, who is the author of Lives of the Novelist? Sir Walter Scott, also known for his Waverly novels, if I'm not wrong. Those are his historical novels and renowned novels. You must know about them too. Then Charles Dickens, also known for his famous works like Pickwick Papers. Then... Uh, one more work, A Tale of Two Cities, which is based on uh, French Revolution, you must read. And that is also regarded as the highest selling book. Then D.S. Lawrence, then Charlotte Bronte, 63. Number A will be correct. Sir Walter Scott has written the book called Lives of the Novelist. 64 says, in we, uh, whose poem do we find the following line? I wander, in, uh, I wander through each chartered street. Slash, near where the chartered Thames does flow slash, and mark in every face I meet slash, marks of weakness comma marks of woo William Wordsworth B.B. Sally Lord Byron William Black 64 number D will be correct it says William Black Black is also a prominent figure Say 65 says which of the following is not intellectual dishonesty which of the following is not intellectual dishonesty? It says selective reporting over a generalization bias literature review 65 number D will be correct literature review which is also a part of research. 
66 it says match the novels in list 1 with the settings in list 2 in list 1 we have got novels and in list 2 we have got settings uh, in list 1 we've got the magic of mountain disgrace ulysses less miserables dublin in list 2 dublin paris davos cape town 66 these are the options for you 66 correct option will be number uh, 8 that is the magic mountain is related to 3 cape town and then b4 disgrace is related to uh, no 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 the magic mountain is related to davos and uh, disgrace is related to cape town disgrace is written by i have already already told you in my pre previous discussion that is jam koji south african writer c1 ulysses dublin then d2 less measurables paris number a will be correct 67 says how many long actions does vladimir prop outline as essential to the function of a folk tale 29 31 33 35 67 number b will be correct 31 68 says which of the following novels deals with the horrors of world war ii the red badge of courage a farewell to arms the naked and the dead all quiet on the western front so the there is a movie hollywood movie also won an academy award or oscar so you must watch that movie so all quiet on the western front uh, western front that that is the name related to world war ii 68 number c will be correct that is the naked and the dead 69 says who advised Mulgras Anand to give up his Bloomsbury English to write about the untouchables. So now we have uh, penetrated to Indian English literature. You should also know how it was originated, how it has evolved o over the time and what is the contemporary or present status of Indian English literature. These are the options for you. Rabindranath Tagore, Chitraranjan Chitra Das, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi, 69, number D will be correct. Mahatma Gandhi has uh, advised Mulkras Anand to sack his Bloomsbury English to write about the untouchables or called Dalit. 70 says, which American poet does Lionel Trilling regard as a terrifying poet? Walt Whitman, another major figure in English uh, American English Poetry, Emily Dickinson, uh, Adrienne Rich, Robert Frost. 70. Number B will be correct. Emily Dickinson. 71. William Faulkner's novel The Sound and the F Fury derived its title from one of the following texts. Uh, these are the options for you. Coriolanus, Macbeth, The White Devil, Volpone. Which one will be correct? Let me repeat it. William Faulkner's novel, The Sound and the Fury, derived its title from one of the following texts. Coriolanus, Macbeth, The White Devil, Volpone. 71. It will be number B, that is Macbeth. 72. This will be the last que question for this video. Uh, the rest we, we will discuss in upcoming classes. Which Indian poet wrote The Trojan War? Dom Mores Nisim Ezekiel Sri Aurobindo Kamalada 72 number C will be correct Sri Aurobindo had written a poem called the Trojan War you should know if you don't know it is related to Iliad written by Homer hello viewers I have been discussing one question paper related to UGC net slat uh, CUE at PG or UG uh, of recent exam though this paper is related to slat english literature but still it will be helpful for net as well as cue at uz as well as cue at pg now without any delay let's begin the discussion in our last video we have dis we have discussed uh, till last video uh, till 72 number question our discussion uh, went on now we i will begin from 73 okay without any delay let's do it 73 it says identify the writer in list one with the movement movement in list two here i would like to mention one thing that i always do and that is please excuse my pronunciation and uh, always try to uh, research okay whatever 
I have told you, do not uh, embrace it, do not accept it uh, without verification from your end that you must do. And apart from that, whatever I will tell you, whatever you have seen in the or through the question or through the question paper, you have to again uh, delve into deeper so that you will know what kind of question may come re related to the ask topic or the said topics okay so 73 says identify the writer in list one with the movement in list two in list one we have got robert <coughs> creely in uh, in b we have got nathaniel Houghton, then kingsley amis then lawrence farling Getty. in list two we have got movement poetry beat poetry black mountain poetry transcendentalism these all movements and these all writers these all movements and these all poets are quite significant for you so please try to uh, do more research related to this writer and these movements so these are the options for you i will not go into options let me give you the correct answer straight away so the correct answer according to the uh, official answer key it will be Robert Creeley it will be related to uh, black mountain poetry that means number D will be correct and then B4 Nathaniel Houghton will be related to transcendentalism one of the uh, important poetic movements and then C1 Kingsley Amis will be related to movement poetry and then D2 <coughs> uh, D2 D2 will be Lawrence Farlingetti will be related to beat poetry got it let me mark it okay then number 74 it says the title of Browning's poem Childe Ro Roland or Child Day Roland, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just pronouncing it in my own way. Child Day Roland to the Dark Tower came is taken from which of the following option? Milton, John Milton's Paradise Lost, you all know. Dryden's Mac Flacno, Shakespeare's Henry IV Part One, William Shakespeare's King Lear. <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, correct answer for the said question will be. So this line is taken from King's Lear's William uh, King King Lear, that is William Shakespeare's tragedy. Then seventy-five says, the great God Pan was written by whom? M. R. James, Arthur McCann, Edgar Allan Poe, and Tennyson. So, correct answer will be the great God Pan was written by Arthur McCann. 76 says Bauhaus Bauhaus so this is a term it is related to what A says a gothic rock band B says an essay on the gothic C says a movie D says a poem what do you think it will be Bauhaus is a gothic rock band related to literature then number 77 says identify the correct match so we have got writers and the books chetan bhagat nights at the call center aravin adiga the girl from the nongrim hills sasi despande the lowland amis tripathi the immortals of meluha so here according to me 77b will be uh, b is not correct oh sorry here correct match is asking right so correct answer will be number D that is the Immortals of Meluha written by Amis Tripathi. It's an uh, Indian English literature and the girl from Nongram Hills it is written by Onku Soikya and he is from Assam. You should know about him too. And Sasi Deswande you might have heard she is a female or feminist writer. Chetan Bhagat you all know. Arbin Adiga you must have uh, studied his work like uh, the White Tiger, which was also adapted into a Hollywood, Hollywood, Bollywood, both mixed move, movie. And there you, you will see Pupenga Chopra and uh, Rajkumar Rao. 
moving on 78 it says <clears throat> uh, match the works in list one with the writers in list two in list one we've got Bama a Dalit writer known for his Dalit aesthetics then B Santa by Kamle then C Hoshang Marchand then D Basun Basu Dhendra Basu Dhendra okay in list two we have got flower to fame Mohan Swami story of my life Sangati now you we have to match what will be correct 78 number C will be correct that means Bama is related to Sangati uh, and then B, B3 Santa by Kamla is related to story of my life then C1 Hoshang Marjan is related to flower to flame uh, then D2 it is related to Basundhendra is re related to Mohan Swami got it 79 it says which famous play focuses on the problem of AIDS AIDS we all know uh, so which play has emphasized it or depicted it the crucible the glass men menagerie the hairy app angels in America 79 number D will be correct angels in America the rest plays like crucible glass menagerie hairy app these are also pivotal you should do your own research number 80 says uh, which of these critics is known for his work on reader response theory Northrop Fry Louis Althusser Wolfgang Iser Clint Brooks all are theorists known for their respective works remarkable works 80 correct answer will be Wolfgang Iser 81 says the storm and drang so this is a movement influenced by what symbolist movement surrealist movement gothic dark romance neoclassical movement what do you think uh, so correct answer will be gothic dark romance dark romance 82 says identify the novel of margaret atwood that is based on the post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic life margaret atwood she is a Canadian writer. You must know her from her no novel like uh, The ha Handman's Tale. So these are the options for you. We have to identify the novel written by her. The Blind Assassin, Oryx and Craig, Cat's Eye Surfacing. So 82, it will be number B, Oryx and Craig. Oryx and Craig. 83 says which writer did not belong to the movement poets which writer did not belong to the movement poets Philip Larkin Ted Ted Hughes or Huggis I don't know uh, then uh, Elizabeth Jennings Dylan Thomas 83 it will be number D Dylan Thomas but all are quite important for you 84 84 says in wait yes 84 says in novum organum bacon classified some intellectual fallacies as idols of the mind which of the following is not one of them idols of the cave idols of the marketplace idols of the theater idols of the temple 84 number d will be correct idols of the temple 85 says who according to Robert Browning is the lost leader Robert Browning uh, a noteworthy English poet uh, so who according to Robert Browning is the lost leader John Milton John John Dryden PB Shelley William Wordsworth 85 number D will be correct that is William Wordsworth according to him uh, he was the lost leader at the six says Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species was published in 1859. This year also saw the publication of three other famous works. Works choose the set of correct three among the following. So these are the options for you. Dickens, A Tale of Two Series, John Stuart Mill's On Liberty, Tennyson's In Memoriam, then Hardy's Far From the Madding Crowd, Matthew Arnold's Culture and Anarchy, Browning's The Ring and the Book, Samuel Smiles' Self-Help, John Stuart Mill's On Liberty, Dickens' A Tale of Two Series, a very famous 
novel, D. George Eliot's Adam Barry, Matthew Arnold's Culture and Anarchy, Tennyson's In Memoriam. 86. Number C will be correct. Samuel Smile, Self Help, George Stewart, Mills on Liberty, and Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. So, this novel is based on French Revolution, and this novel is one of the uh, most selling English books. Okay, one of the most selling. 87 says, Which new genre did Audrey Lorde's text Jami, a new spelling of my name, establish? Historical fiction, absurdist novel, magic realism, biomythography. These all are important for you. Please try to do more research. Uh, so, 87 number D will be correct. Correct. Biomythography. 88 says, which of the following works was not written by Thomas Carlyle? Sartre, Resartus, uh, Cartism or Chartism? The lamp of memory unto this last. 88. So, according to the official answer key, C and D both are correct. So, if this kind of question will come, then you will get the full mark. You, you wouldn't have to worry. All will get the mark. Moving on to 89. It says, uh, which existential philosopher taught that man is potentially always in conflict with his neighbor and all social relationships are doomed to frustration? So, who... Who, who said this? Whose statement is this? Soren uh, Kierkegaard, G. Uh, G. Paul Sorte, Albert Camus, Walter Benjamin. Again, sorry for the pronunciation. 89B, uh, G. Paul Sorte. Trying to improve, but still there are numerous words in English which are quite alien to me. And when those words come up, it... Uh, becomes quite difficult for me to pronounce i'm i'm still trying to improve it so 90 says which of the following is not a character in margaret lawrence the stone angel or angle or what angel uh, bram sipley hager penelope matt 90 number c will be correct penelope 91 says stanley fish must have heard by you stanley fish wrote the essay is direct text in the class in this class sorry as a response to this who wrote the essay is there a fish in this text robert scholes umberto eco gerald prince harold bloom 91 91 number one will be correct or a will be correct robert scholes 92 says visiting family is not uncommon so this is a statement or quotation is an example of what sir Circumlocution, alliteration, simile, litotes. 92, number D will be correct, litotes. 93 says, which of these statements are not true about Okonko in Chinua Achibis Things Fall Apart? You must have studied Chinua Achibis Things Fall Apart. This is one of the most uh, groundbreaking African American English literature literature's work. Chinua achieves things fall apart. Uh, so here the question is which of these statements are not true about Okonko in Chinua achieves things fall apart. A. He is embarrassed by his lazy father. B. He has four wives. C. He is not wealthy. D. He is unable to adapt to the challenging times. So which is not true? Which are not true? B. C. A. D. A. C. B. D. So 93, number A will be correct. B and C, he has four wives, he is not wealthy, this is not correct. Okay, not true. Wait. 94, uh, it says, which of the following is not a work by John Ruskin? Which of the following is not a work by John Ruskin? Modern painters, lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors and ar architects, the seven lamps of architecture, the stones of Venice. 94, it will be number B, lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors and architects. 95 says the following are the first lines of the well-known works by poets. Match the line, lines in list 1 and the poets in list 2. In list 1, we have got some uh, poetic lines and list two we have got poets let me read it 
एस एस बट डू नॉट लेरस क्वारल एनीमो बीच एस इट लिटल प्रॉफिट स्टेरन आयल किंग सी रिमेम्बर मी वेन आई एम गॉन फार अवे डी गो फॉर द कॉल यू सेफर्ड फ्रॉम द हिल इन लिस्ट टू वी हैव गॉट दिस दिस पोइट्स नेम्स टेनिसन मैथ्यू आर्नल रॉबर्ट ब्राउनिंग क्रिस्टिन रोजेरी सो दिस आर द नेम्स फॉर यू दिस एंड दिस आर द ऑप्शन फॉर यू लेट मी गो straight to the correct answer 95 b will be correct that means uh, a will be re related to 1 but do not let us quarrel any more is related to lord tennyson b3 it little profit that an idle king will be related to robert browning c4 remember me when i'm gone far away christina rosetti d2 go for they call you suffered from the hill it will be related to matthew army hope you have got it 96 says the term new woman was coined by whom olive screener sarah gran caroline norton emma francis brook 96 it will be b sarah gran 97 says which of the following texts has the subtitle called a novel without a hero a very famous one vanity fair invisible man Herzog Sophie's choice 97 number A will be correct vanity fair then here night from 98 99 and 100 we have got the a poetic line and then on the basis of that we have to answer the question okay <clears throat> so this kind of questions uh, are quite dynamic it keeps on changing therefore i have decided not to re read it and uh so it is easy for you why i'm saying because uh, there will be some quotations from poem and then on the basis of that you have to solve it and that can be done quite easy okay so let's finish our video here i hope it will help you uh, please stick to the syllabus of respective exam that you are preparing for all the best do your best and have faith uh, on your hard work have faith on god have faith uh, that uh, good thing will happen to your life or come to your life that's all thank you so much